are told by that report that the state deputy governor was uh, um, interfering with procurement processes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we do have directors of procurement in every county, Mr. Speaker. It is not the deputy governor. And if at all you are blaming the deputy governor, the person who is supposed to be here is the county executive, who is the governor of CIA, James Orengo. He is the person who is supposed to be on this floor. Mr. Speaker, I saw it on the other, on the other day. Uh, honorable senators, especially those from the government side, we will still need these chairs after this session. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I think I still have my one minute. Mr. Speaker, this House has been sitting here discussing important motions, important issues, having uh, the CSS coming here to discuss, to discuss matters of national importance, but the minority will move out or, or always go out of the House. They are now here, Mr. Speaker just to kick out somebody because somebody said a certain uh, county secretary uh, uh, was forced to resign. Mr. Speaker, is that what we want this Senate to go down as? A house that discusses irrelevances? Mr. Speaker, do we want this house to be taken as a house that only discuss on removal? That's why their side is full, Mr. Speaker. Look at them. Beautiful. They are here. Mr. Speaker, look at them. Look at them. Look at them, Mr. Speaker. But when we are discussing issues of the county uh, the, 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 the national importance, they move out. I ask them to move out even now. Go, so that's Yaya. Where is your point of order, Senator Eddie?